is a man who's literally on top of the world, Placido Domingo. Welcome, Placido. Thank you very much. And uh, I know that you're here for two months, and I want you to know that uh, when I heard I was going to interview you, I thought, what do you ask someone who has been compared to the best tenor since Caruso, the man who is numero uno? So I want to ask you, how does it feel? Well, I, I just think that I, I feel very happy to be in a position which some people might be thinking and then you are, you know, one of the leading uh, tenors in the musical world because I really work very hard for it. But this is a matter of opinion. It's the, certainly for some people I might be, for other people they might say, well, after all, why, you know? I certainly I do uh, some of the most important work around the opera houses today in the world. So if, if you go for numbers, you might call me that because I really am in every opera house, well, I you know, think working you very hard. Yes. But let me ask you something. The climb to the top had to be real tough. But now that you're at the top, how is that? Is, is the struggle as tough or tougher now? It's tougher. It's no, no doubt that every day becomes more and more difficult because you live in a, um, in a world of uh, tremendous tension. You know that opera houses now, they are well, sold out because you are singing. So the responsibility is tremendous in every place. If there is a place, then you go continuously. Every day they are expecting something else, yes. something better. If there is a new place, they have the right to make their own judgment, to say, well, we have heard and here it comes. He's a great tenor, but we want to have our opinion. Mm -hmm. You see, so it's always on a, you are always working on the very thin, uh, como los equilibri, equilibristas, como se llama? Uh, when you call, when uh, you are walking on the... tightrope. Yes, a on tight the tightrope. Right. And it's very dangerous and you have to, to really have, especially, your nerves in the right place because every day is more, every day is not only the performances but the interviews, the television. And that's then, a big part of yes, it, isn't it? everything, the media is so so much involved with what we do, what we do today, then there is a, a very, very uh, exhausting kind of life. But I really know how to rest, so I take it a oh, little good, easy on top of that. Where are you everything. from? Possibly. I'm from Madrid. I was born in Madrid, in Spain. And then I spent um, uh, some of the years of my childhood and uh, even to my youth in Mexico City. Mm -hmm. where I was married and I have, uh, my wife is Mexican and uh, two of my children, or boys, because they are already big boys, uh -huh. two are Mexicans and one is American. All born here in the States? Yes. Um, let me ask you something. Uh, how did you get involved with opera? It, was it in Mexico that you started? Uh, yes, I'd, um, I was involved. My parents, they were leading singers and uh, all their lives they have been singing a musical which uh, music which is now every day more familiar the american public is getting more familiar and i'm doing something towards that goal which is la zarzuela uh -huh. spanish music and because of that i was involved always in the theater but later on i uh, i had an intuition that it was something else that i could do uh -huh. and that was the opera and i'm very i was very lucky but so you were succeed. singing and what else did you I, I understand you're a pianist. A pianist. I was studying piano. I was studying conducting. I was playing piano. I was doing musical comedy. Mm -hmm. You name it. You but know. But why what? opera then? Opera. Why opera and not regular pop singing? I... Well, I, I did also that. I, I was start singing uh, popular songs and uh, Mexican songs, and I was going to go into movies right away. Mm -hmm. But I find out that uh, the maximum when I discovered the world of opera, I realized that that was the greatest. It was the most difficult thing to accomplish and the greatest thing to do. And uh, as I tell you one thing, I tell you another one. There is nothing worse than a bad operatic performance. Mm -hmm. When nothing works in the opera, it's such a solution for me. I mean, it's terrible. It, then it starts to, you start to see everything. You start to see the unbelievable of the stories, the old fashion. You start to get uh, to demand many things mm -hmm. but when opera is done in the way it should be done the total picture that's the complete magic and there is no other thing on earth for me that can match a good performance of opera let me ask you this um, what do you hope to do with this opera career well the, the opera career now 
it has arrived into a moment and every day as I tell you I'm supposed to do more and more important things so what I want to do is to be able to maintain the standard which I have arrived for several years and uh, do it in a with the most enthusiastic way and not to punish the public singing too long, you know, <laughs> once, the, once my best years will Well, punish me some gone, more. It's great know? performances. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I plan to make enjoy the public, but not to punish them, really. Um, you were asking me about... Uh, have you had any special personal projects that you're involved with now? Well, I think that the special project, it has very much to do with what we are doing in this program which is to, uh, to have uh, uh, to go into the houses of many people which they are not aware of how big and how important the Spanish population in the United States it is. There is uh, about 19 million people in the United States, the United States which is an amazing number. And uh, I think that it's very important that uh, the level of our culture in all sides it grows and becomes bigger that's the reason i'm so much involved in this project of bringing the zarzuela music you know to establish a company in between new york los angeles and miami which can be the three different companies which it will be create first of all a job for about 450 people and also to really uh, give to the Spanish uh, community, to the Spanish public, something of a, of a beautiful level where they can go to the theater and enjoy it. Sometimes I think that they insult the, the feelings and they insult the intelligence of our people because they give them things and they are almost too easy, you know? And uh, you said, well, they like salsa, let's give them salsa. Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's right. If people like salsa, which why not? They should like it. But they should be able to know to that there is something it. else, yes. and something else, and something else. And they are ready to learn it. Well, and I special, wish you a lot of luck with that. Especially the, Cu the Cuban and the Puerto Rican people, you know, which they have been growing up with Arzuela, so they know it about that. Well, we've run out of time, but uh, thank you for being with us, Placido, and we'll be right back.